In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a great defense for trips tight end. This is how to slow down the trips tight end meta offense in Madden 22 with zone drops. I want to thank you for watching this video. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Cody. I post videos every day on YouTube helping people get better at the game. If you want to get my full defensive ebook that I just put out on the 46 defensive playbook, I think this is one of the best defenses in Madden. And the number one reason why I think it is so effective is because it gives you the ability to play every single type of coverage that you could want to play in this game, including things like cross manning and Tampa 3 and Tampa 3rd and stuff like that, uh, rolling coverages, all of that. So if you want to learn how I like to run this defense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description of this video. I think that every single pro player, you will see them running some version of this defense by the end of the month of September. So excited to get into this, and we're ready to break this down. So anyways, that being said, let's dive in. Uh, let's show you how we can slow down uh, Trips Tight End. I think Trips Tight End is honestly um, a very, very effective offense this year. It's, it's just as good as it was last year, if not even uh, in some ways a little bit more effective. So that being said, let's get into it. So what we're going to do first and foremost when it comes to defending uh, when it comes to defending trips tied in is we're going to put our flats on 30 we're going to put our curl flats on five or ten i like five and then we're going to leave our hook curls on default okay that's how we're going to kind of start um we're also going to come out in the safety nickelback package out of the nickel 335 normal this gives us different unique adjustments that we can do to roll coverages if we're facing someone that likes to run trips tight end, okay? That being said, we're going to come out and we're going to uh, come out in the cover four drop, and then we're going to audible down into the Mike Blitz three. Now, a couple reasons why we like to do this. The first one is because of this right here. The linebackers stay in. Um, if we go to the cover four and you watch, you'll see that this guy, if I don't move him, he'll go outside, which I don't want him to do. I want him to stay in. So the other reason why we go to the Mike Blitz 3 is because it gives us essentially a really decent, honestly, a really decent coverage show for uh, trips tight end. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to press our coverage, and then really important, we're going to put the, the it's really, really important adjustment. We're going to take this guy right here, and we're going to put him into an outside third zone to the right. Um, most people will put him in a deep half. No, please put him in an outside third to the right. Very important. Then we're going to just kind of manually move him in inside just a little bit, just like that right there. And then we're going to put the corner on the, uh, like the 10 yard line here, Alexander, put him in a cloud flat. Okay. And then from there, all we have to do is, and, and, and I like to do this against trips tied in because trips tied in the corner routes to the trip side are not as good as they've been in years past. And they don't actually beat man to man that well. So what I like to do is just man up the circle receiver. Um, and, and what I've found is just by manning up Adrian Amo, my linebacker, onto the circle receiver, that can that can lock it down. So essentially, we're going to leverage the power of, of that man coverage. Then what we're going to do is come over here. We're going to put Redman. A couple ways you could do this. You could man him up on the receiver or I personally just prefer to put him in a curl flat zone, just like that right there. And then my defense is pretty much set, and all I do is pass commit. And where if the running back does a little crazy route like this angle route, watch this three wreck. Because our yellows are on default, you see how he, he didn't stop it, but he was there. He didn't stop the route, but he was kind of in that area. So I love that. Um, if you wanted to, you could drop, you could drop this guy on the left into a vertical hook zone and see how that works that's another option um, especially for trips tight end specifically i do like to do that um, the one reason why i often don't is because i don't want two yellow zones but again you know if they're if they're not throwing to the flat then drop them in a zone but you see here we're going to go like that man up that circle receiver i think that is such a huge point and then the biggest point of all put that outside third 
to the right side. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Cody, what if they streak the tight end and run everyone's favorite play? And I like to pinch these guys inside just like this. But let's say they – because I've manned this guy up, right? I've played man coverage on this guy. So I've got seam streaks. And if I want to, I could take that man coverage on a circle and I could put that as a man coverage on the triangle um, if I wanted to as well. Just man someone, whoever you want to man up on the trip side. Typically it's that first slot receiver. But now let's go to PA counter go. I want to show you a tight end streak and then just show you like a basic kind of flood. If you want to take that three wreck and put him in a vertical hook, you can. He'll get a little bit more out there, especially for in routes and things like that. But anyways, let's just go through this. I want to show you the streak to the tight end. You'll see here that that streak is bracketed really, really well, and the safety comes in and plays it very, very well. Whenever you bring those safeties in like that, it's going to do just fine. You're not going to have a, a ton of problems against that. But what really, where this is really going to shine is in plays like verticals where they've got that deep route uh, that can get over the cloud flat. This is where this is really going to shine. So let me show you that real quick and honestly the trips tight end D is not too hard to set up uh, if you use Mike Blitz 3 so now I want you to watch the circle receiver I'm not even going to use her anybody I just want you to watch uh, I just really want you to watch circle uh, on this crosser so you've got a 30 yard cloud there um, but you've also got this outside third and watch that out watch them just bag that there's no room for that to be open there's absolutely no possible way that is going to be open. Now, I will say this really quickly about trips tight end. One other thing you can do. Let's say you don't want to man up. The reason I recommend manning up is because it will take away the corner route and it will oftentimes take away some other routes or at least help you out on some other routes. But let's say you don't want to play man coverage. That is fine. I want to show this just real quick. Let me make sure that I'm... Got all my adjustments the way that I want them. I don't want base alignment. And now let me show you cover three. So let me show you this. So what you can do is instead of manning this guy up, now I can drop this guy into a vertical hook. Right? And then I can go, I can just sit like this. And I still have my Mabel to the right side, which is where it's most important because they're going to run high lows all day off the crosser. So you have this, but now you've got this yellow zone dropping over there. Okay, and that yellow zone is going to do a really, really good job against the PA counter go. Uh, I call it the spam and buttons money play because this is what he runs, and this he runs this like like freaking really, really well. That deep dig route though, you'll see, runs right into a yellow. Okay, and obviously your user is going to be back there and everything, and you're going to be able to take that away. But that is how I've been defending trips tight end at this point. I think trips tight end is one of the best offenses. Um, in the game, I really do. I think people are sleeping on how good it is this year. A lot of pros are just running bunch and just saying, I'm going to run bunch, and that's what I'm going to do. I would encourage you to take a look at some of these concepts from Trip Side In. It's really good. Um, Trip Side In is really, really good. But this is a way that you can slow it down. This is a way that you can defend it. And this is a very sound defense, especially if they patch some of the zones, make them react a little better. This is a really good defense for trips tight end. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're new, if you haven't gotten the 4-6 defensive guide yet, I would really encourage you to do that because if you think this video was in-depth, in the 4-6 defensive guide, we go through insane detail. I've got hours upon hours of film and resources for you to be able to help you slow down some of these meta offenses and really dive into how you can actually defend the best offenses in the game. So if you want to stop giving up 50 points a game, you want to start getting consistent stops, grab my defensive guide. There's a link in the description. Or click that link. It takes you right to the website. We'll get you squared away within 5-10 minutes tops. And if you have any questions, feel free to text me. My number is at the top of the screen.